I thought I'd uh, do an unboxing of the Dan Wesson RZ45 Heritage. Because it's technically called the Razorback, but most people would just call it the Heritage. It's a 1911 stainless full size forged frame since 2009. And it is exceptionally good for the money. It uh, comes with a manual, a coupon for 35 off your next order of double tap ammo and a the standard uh, gun lock, the cable lock, which I have disposed of in the proper receptacle. And let's just have a look here. So it's very nice. got the uh, it's got mostly Ed Brown parts is what I've heard I'm not sure about that but you can tell me if you know otherwise um, flat mainspring housing checkered the standard beaver tail with the the memory bump or the speed bump or whatever A really nice safety sort of extended butt, butt plate uh, magazines comes with two of those eight rounds very smooth and it's got really nice um, fit and finish the uh, slide to frame fit is really really tight and excellent really good sights it's uh, front is tritium sight the rear is a Novak style just plain which is exactly what I wanted the sides of the rear sight are checkered I'm, I'm sorry not checkered they're uh, We've got the same slide serrations, basically matching serrations, it looks like. And the top is milled along the edges, and then it's got um, serrations along the front for a sight rib. Very nice. And it's, there's, there's a slight, very slight bit of movement up and down, and a very set, the same amount side to side. I imagine that it's that way for reliability, but it might just be because it's not the top end. Valor or whatever, but um, it's got whole grips. It's got an extended magazine release, and uh, it looks like a long trigger, which is it fits me perfectly. Standard bushing and a match grade stainless barrel, um, and it is a good shooter. And the first five rounds I put through this were uh, an inch and a quarter at 30 feet from my wobbly. Um, just resting on a piece of you know a cardboard box or something, so that's pretty good for me. Um, I haven't sat down and really shot groups with it yet, but um, the only thing that I would change on it that I will change is let's see if I can get a better focus on this. Hold on. This edge right here is a little sharp on my thumb. I use a high grip, and so I come up through here, and also this right here this little lip is a little bit proud of the radius of the rear of the frame so I'm gonna take that down a little bit with a, maybe an India stone or a file or something and then polish it down and then I guess I'll have to have a bead blasted again to match or I could just probably not worry about it which is what I usually do but that's that rubs on me a little bit with my thumb over the safety grip is the only issue I have oh and the hammer is nicely polished, really nice, and the trigger pull is very, very, very nice, very light. And very little over travel. Stop. I mean, it's zero slop. Really nice. Um, all right, so let's shoot a few.
review here. should have mentioned that the <coughs> magazines are, uh, they look to be of a hybrid design. I don't know who made them. Maybe you guys do. Let me get a closer look here. Hold on. The, the feed lips are angled outward and they have the flat follower with the dimple. Eight round follower. And they come out a little bit below the bottom of the frame. And with the extended pad, I guess they'd be ideal for mag magwell use. But they're they seem to be reliable so far. All right, thanks for watching. Rock on. Go get one.